in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host of this particular program, known here on YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Daily Motion, and perhaps many other places. On the internet, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like for you to bear with me as due to the changing of seasons from the summer to the fall, sometimes I get caught up and I seem to be catching a cold. But I would like to just share, and it is always an honor that you would allow me to share just a few moments to speak with us and hope that you are a lover of truth as it is always best to embrace the truth rather than ignore or dilute the truth because in the end, it is what is best for us. This nation and the world, and we as individuals, we suffer. And we are not enjoying heaven on earth because of our rebellion against the truth. Our failure to embrace our reality. Our cowardice in challenging those who break the peace. And exactly who are the peace breakers? The main persons of whom break the peace are those who claim to be of peace. So we look at our world, our world right now and what do we see? What we have seen for generations, what we have seen for the last few thousand years, the same persons always at war, but at the same time, they claim to be of peace. It began this week with rioting by believers in Islam, and one of the consequences of that riot was the murder or the death of persons who worked for the United States Embassy in Libya. And why were these people rioting? Now, we have found that perhaps terrorism was involved, not just the riot. The riot was used to cover up terroristic action. However, the crowd was upset and believed that the United States of America was behind a film that made mockery and accused the Holy Prophet Muhammad of being a child molester. So we have riots breaking out and the target is the United States, the embassies in all these major Islamic countries. Now, of course, many so-called Americans are Christian. Why are you getting so upset over this? First of all, if we are lovers of peace, then we do not tolerate nobody from among us to do to disrespect another person's belief system. You don't have to believe in the Prophet Muhammad. But you should respect another person's belief if they are your friend and ally. I do not believe in spirituality. I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in God. But since I know that around me are those who are passionate about their beliefs, then 
in order to respect them, then I must watch how I speak about that which they believe because in reality all of these people are fanatics. The Christians call the Muslims fanatics but Christians are just as fanatical as Muslims are. And then we and then in this bowl of soup you drop in a little bit of Judaism and the Jews are just as fanatical. All of you are religious zealots. It has been that way for the last few thousand years and you don't have to you can get angry at me if you want, but you're doing nothing outside of what you have been doing for the last few thousand years. All of these religions, they were born and came to birth through violence. So it is no shock that you see the violence that you see in the Middle East or the violence perpetrated by the United States of America, a nation of Christians. This nation called the United Snakes of America, it was built on slavery, it was built on genocide, it was built on murder, lies, lies and theft, rape. What do you expect from these people? They only talk about peace. And they show you this false thing on Sunday or Saturday when they go worship. But in the meantime, they hate people. In the meantime, they degrade others. They make mockery. They always fighting among one another. Shedding guilty and the blood of innocence. Your Bible, your Quran, your Torah, all these religious books. Show me. Teach me. You said that you are people of peace. But yet and still in your holy scriptures show me a lifestyle of peace. It's about rape. It's about sodomy. It's about murder. It's about all kinds of violent behavior. Even your God. Now listen to, listen to me. Even your God is jealous. Your God gets angry and your God can't control his anger. Never a woman. And y'all should be glad that God is not a woman. Because this is behavior that you should be shame of. This God is jealous. Don't you worship another God except me. And if you don't obey me, I'm going to kill you. I'm, I brought you into this world and I'm going to take you out. You know that's something that your parents used to say when we used to be uh, little children that, that misbehave. Your parents would say, I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. This God sounds no different than some hoodlum in the street with his angels behind a, a mafia godfather. That's how this God sounds to me. Thus, I don't want anything to do with religion. And then what makes things worse is that the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians, what makes their behavior even worse is they believe they are justified because this jealous God says, or they believe this jealous God is with them. And they do these things in the name of God. So I will enslave you because God says so. I'm a man, and God said, I run the household. I run this stuff. So I will not treat the woman as an equal. And I will use violent methods to control my children because God said, spare the rod, spoil the child, so I'll do that. These religious people are insane. They are crazy. You have never in history seeing those who say they are atheists or non-believers in God behave this way. Yes, there are atheists who have done great harm, but they never justified it because they said, God is with me. So this is what makes things 
worse. So you have Muslims and Christians fighting one another. They disrespect one another. Because one believes they are better than another. Then you have Jewish people in the state of Israel who is waiting and planning on murdering Muslims in Iran because those Muslims are a threat to us. It's all about religion. And why is everybody upset? Because God said that the state of Israel belongs to us. It is all madness. It is insanity at the brink. But this is expected because a world is falling. There must be anger. There must be the war of what they call in your scriptures the war of Armageddon. It all comes out in the wash. You love everybody, but you will hate me because I don't believe in God. You will become prejudiced against me because I don't believe in God. In fact, in the past, these religions have beaten, murdered, terrorized, forced their beliefs on other people. That's why they are as big as they are because they use violence in order to spread Islam, violence to spread Judaism, violence to spread Christianity all over this planet. And we know that's how it was done. And we praise a God that supports, advocates this type of behavior. This world of religion is madness. And we should, if we have any type of mentality, if you can think for yourself a little bit, then you are wise to leave these people alone. They are savages. They are uncivilized. They hate their mama, hate their fathers because they don't believe in God. They'll kill you, murder you outright, and say it's all right because that's what God wants. Can't you see this is insanity? Warmongers, where is the peace? Show me the peace that y'all talking about, except on Sunday. There is none. Look at your behavior, not only today, but look at your history. Now straighten it up if you can, but you can't because that's how you are. Religion makes murderers. Religion makes killers. And religion makes slaves. And that's what we see throughout history. And it continues today. Jot down your comments. This was your brother, the angel snuffed up seven. And I'm already 5,000.